I'm still trying to perfect this uh, camera tracking thing. Did it work? I don't know. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be a very, very, very quick improv one because I've just started working on a bigger project, which I'm excited about bringing you. And hopefully the first episode of that will be launching next week. And it's going to be a series where I kind of talk about my gear that I use to create my, my commercial shoots and uh, the kind of the beer adverts and anything that is related to that with the spinning shots and stuff. And uh, the first episode is going to be breaking down my electronic turntable, the Lazy Susan. This is the game changer that everyone needs to get. So look forward to uh, finishing that video and releasing that for you guys, because I think once you've watched that, I don't see why you wouldn't buy one. So I'm looking forward to sharing my tips on how to use that and what you can do with it exactly to get the results that I get. Well, based on that, actually, have you got any questions uh, that you would like me to kind of put forward into explaining about my equipment that I use for creating uh, those sort of beer videos? Any questions on lighting, the actual camera settings? I'm covering it all, so any questions, drop them down below, and I will try to include them within my little short films that I'm making for each category. So we've got, we've got like the Lazy Susan's one, we got what tripod head I use, uh, we got the lighting, gels, notepads. All this is essential kind of, and it's cheap. And um, you can build a kind of commercial kit for a few hundred pound, I think. You'll be able to get something good that you can create the professional results with. So look forward to releasing, like I said, the first episode. And there should be seven or eight videos within that series. Unless you can think of more questions, then I can add them to the mix. Okay, All right. as I've got your attention, check out this little tip, which you may find useful for when you're shooting solo. Let me just film on my phone so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, Okie dokie, let me just hit record. Right, this is now recording what we're seeing. You can see, oh wow, my head looks huge in that filler. Uh, you can see that the camera is on a tripod. It is not going anywhere. But if you look at the final footage, now can you see? It looks like it's handheld. Now how are we doing that? I'll show you. So how do we get that handheld look? Well inside Premiere there's a little semi-hack where you haven't got to apply keyframes and hope for the best that way. What you do is actually record a second shot. It doesn't have to be in the same location or anything, but we may as well. Uh, but we do the second shot handheld and once we've got these two clips, let's then go onto the computer and see kind of what we have to do. Okay then, so all we have to do to get that handheld look is to record another clip, the duration of the original one. So if it was a 10 second clip, let's film for a bit like 10 seconds, if not a bit more, and do it handheld. And then what we're going to do is use that original clip inside of this wobbly clip, let's call it wobbly clip, the handheld clip, but we're going to stabilize the handheld clip, hide that layer, nest it all together. This is Premiere Pro Talk, sorry for anyone that doesn't use that program. And then within that nest, because that layer is hidden, it will still apply the warp stabilizer, but in a negative effect to the stabilized clip. So it's kind of a way of cheating it. Otherwise you've got to do keyframes, which is a real, real pain to try and get something that looks natural. This, obviously because it's handheld, is natural. The computer's trying to correct it. It then takes that kind of equation of correctedness and applies it opposite to the stabilized footage. Make sense? Well, <laughs> I'll show you inside the computer now. But first of all, we have to get a couple of variations. Let's get one that's just like handheld. This one looks like a friend's recorded it and they're not very good with the camera. But it's a good look because it's more documentary style. It's uh, more natural because, yeah, it's more run and gun. Um, we could do a lot more shaky, uh, as if it's like a, I don't know, a war film. But there'll be a time and a place for that, obviously. This is not for kind of a talking head video. And then let's get one that's ultra still, but still with a slight sway 
against my body and that should hopefully give us enough variations to correct the stable footage into unstable footage and then we'll hit stop on record and let's go and see what we've got on the computer so i've imported both clips into premiere and i've made them the same length for clarity the handheld clip is blue and the tripod shot is pink right click on the handheld shot and select nest label it whatever you like let's call ours handheld next go over to your effects panel and search for warp stabilizer apply the effect to the nested clip this part can sometimes take quite a while, depending on the length and the amount of shake, so go make a coffee or a sandwich whilst the computer does its thing. Yum. Now it has been stabilized, copy or cut the original tripod clip. Double click on the nested clip and paste in your tripod shot. Move up the handheld clip and position the tripod shot underneath. Now for the magic. Simply turn off the visibility of the handheld clip and hit save. Go back to your original sequence, and there we have it. A handheld shot from a static one. You're welcome. Pretty cool, hey? That is one way of getting around shooting solo if you have no one to help you, and you want that less uh, staged look. Uh, I don't use it much, but I might start implementing it for my future short films because, yeah, locked off shots are getting a bit too uh, staged, and I want that natural feel. Uh, as I've mentioned, please let me know down below if there's anything else I should include in my kind of commercial product kit breakdown, anything you want to know, tips on how to use what gear, uh, or ask about what gear I might own, uh, uh, I can add to the videos. Uh, also, let me know down below how you think I can use this kind of thing. I don't know how to do it, but I'm hoping this might look like something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sorry for the short video and the improvness of it, but hopefully I'll see you next week where we release the series of commercial product kit breakdown. <laughs> okay. Till next time. Bye.